Welcome to Electra Online, and now we're going to talk about the second Red Giant branch. What is taking place now? Well, the star is where we, where we left it off on the last video, at the horizontal branch. This is kind of like the second main sequence stage of the star. The first main sequence stage is when the core was fusing hydrogen into helium. The second, quote, main sequence stage would be the horizontal branch where the core is fusing helium into carbon. Now that process is much more ferocious at much higher temperatures, temperatures above 100 million degrees Kelvin. And so this process happens to be so quick that that stage only lasts about 50 million years. For the sun, the main sequence stage lasts 10 billion years, but the horizontal brain stage where it's a red giant burning helium into carbon, it only lasts about 50 million years. And the bigger stars, it's even less. For the very large stars, that process may only take about 10 million years. And for smaller stars than the sun, it could take more than 50 million years. But eventually, the whole core begins to fill with carbon. And once that happens, the, the fusion process from helium to carbon tends to slow down. When it slows down, less heat is generated. Gravity takes over. It wins the balance of forces between the radiation pressure and gravity. And gravity begins to push the core closer and closer together in a more and more dense state, as it did before when it went from burning hydrogen to helium. When that process ended and the core began to collapse, this is a very similar process. Gravity again takes over, begins to collapse the core. That heat generated due to the, uh, what we call the gravitational potential energy being converted to heat fuels the helium burning shell around the core and the hydrogen burning shell around the core. So that is still ferociously taking place because the energy being generated from the core collapsing, all that extra heat being generated. And because of that additional heat being generated, the star begins to expand again. And as the star begins to expand, becomes larger. Since the surface area becomes larger, the luminosity of the star increases. And you can see how the star begins to climb back up the HR diagram in parallel to the first red giant branch. We now have what we would call a second red giant branch with the star becoming larger and larger, more luminous and more luminous. This continues to go on until the star reaches a point where the core is again going to be arrested by the repulsive forces of the electrons, the electron degeneracy. But during that stage, the star grows to a very, very, very large size. Also during that period, the solar winds become very strong. As a red giant, and as it grows to that second red giant, uh, uh, what we call red giant branch stage, the solar winds really pick, uh, pick up and begin to carry off enormous quantities of the star's mass. So the star in that stage can lose as much as 20 to 30 percent of its total mass by the, by the solar winds. Um, and not at high speeds, but at very gentle speeds, the mass just gets carried away. And of course, the reason why it's able to do that is also because these outer regions of the star are so far away from the center of the star that the gravitational forces at the very edge of the star aren't as strong. And so it doesn't take a lot of speed, a lot of velocity for the wind to carry mass away from the star. And so there we are at the second uh, red giant branch stage where the, where the core begins to collapse down into a solid ball of carbon. It turns out most of the carbon that we have in our bodies comes from these places right there. But how it gets from there to here, well, that's another story for another video at some other time. But it's just interesting that most of the carbon in the world, or I should say all of the carbon in the world, comes from the center of stars. And somehow it went from here to the earth and where we have it in our bodies. But I'll leave you wondering about how that happens until we make the video to show you how that, uh, that occurs. But anyway, that is the, what we call the second red giant branch. And so now we're set up to see what happens at that point. Some very interesting things are going to happen to the star before it, it comes to its final demise as a white dwarf.